Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Gabby. Today's video, I will be talking about some challenges that I'm faced with as a blind individual in college. I think that the transition for anybody is difficult, whether you have a disability or not. You know, I definitely think it's more nerve wracking when you do have a disability because there is a lot more pressure that is put on you. So the first challenge I think I was faced with the most transitioning from high school to college was learning how to be more independent, even though I was already very independent. I think that I had to push myself to be more proactive and advocate more for myself, you know, because I had to discuss these things with my professors and tell them that I did have an accommodation letter and that these were the accommodations that I would need to help me succeed throughout the semester. I think it was difficult because again in high school i've always been with someone who was there throughout the day who helped me to get around the building and helped me in class if i needed it and again like i said it's not like i was never independent i just never had that much pressure on myself to be that responsible and push myself that much so i think thanks to the director of accommodations and accessibilities and the dean of students they definitely helped point me in the right direction and supported me throughout that transition. So I was very lucky to have that and it definitely helped me a lot. I think another challenge I was faced with was connecting with people on campus. It's nerve wracking again to, you know, put yourself out there when you don't, you can't see somebody's facial reaction. You can't see their expressions. You don't know, you know, if they're like rolling their eyes at you because they're like, oh, yikes. Or if they're like, you know what, this person is actually nice. So for me, I definitely had to, once again, advocate and push myself even more because people that haven't been around a blind individual don't necessarily know the lifestyle and they don't know that it can be very intense when it comes to trying to make friends. Um, I've had to learn that people can be intimidated because they don't know what you know somebody else is really dealing with, so they tend to just jump to conclusions and make their own assumptions. But for me, I had to tell myself, you know what, this is the beginning of college, everybody's a little bit nervous, I have to take it with a grain of salt and just go with it for now but also remind myself that it's it's okay you know sometimes you're not gonna find people that do want to be your friends sometimes you will find a great amount of friends but for me luckily i had the upperclassmen who i made a lot of great friends with and they definitely helped me um i became more active on campus as well i think that definitely helped for me to join clubs and be a part of events and do all these activities. So it definitely helped me to make more friendships and connect with more people. People that never interacted with a blind individual have a hard time accepting someone that might be different or who seems different to them. I've said this before in one of my other videos, just because someone has a disability does not mean that they are not capable of doing the same things that somebody else can do. Just because I'm blind does not mean that, you know, I can't hold a conversation with you or that, you know, I don't like to go and hang out or do anything. It just means that I have to do things a little bit differently because of my disability. I've made a lot of great friends in college, but I think that a tip I would give to anybody who is starting out or who still feels a little bit, you know, awkward in social situations is just to definitely try to join clubs, definitely try to talk to your family about the situations you're dealing with, reach out to the faculty, they are there to help you, and just know that you are not alone and people understand that it is awkward to meet new people. I still get shy to this day and I'm going to be a junior in the fall, so I totally understand the situation. Alright guys, well that was it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys very soon with another one.